Hello, today I'm going to give you a little bit of a snippet inside our Jane Austen Regency themed newspaper that we have here. So this is the Meryton Gazette, so it's set in the fictional village of Meryton from Pride and Prejudice. And what's the biggest piece of news in Meryton? Well, it's that Netherfield is let at last. So we've got a little headline story here about Mr Bingley coming to Meryton and renting Netherfield Park and who he is and why he's there. That's really exciting. And we've also got other bits here. So we've got news from abroad. Um, the militia returning to Meryton. So we've got the Redcoats back. Society news and gossip, events and personal. So we've even got some love advice in here. And you might recognise some of the people that have written in, even though it is anonymous. Um, and this is set in 1813, this newspaper. So that's when Pride and Prejudice was uh, published. So that's why we've set it in that date. Also got some cute Regency themed adverts throughout the newspaper as well. So I'm just going to show you the first couple of pages so you can see what this newspaper is about. So we've got news. So what's been going on? This is inspired by real new, uh, Regency events that happened in Jane Austen's life around 1813. But also we've got some made up bits about the Redcoats behaving really badly in Meryton. They've been brawling. We've got a little bit about, I think, Mary Bennett makes an appearance um, in some news here as well. We've got some about the characters. Sadly, Princess Augusta has died in 1813, so the court have released a sympathy statement there. That's very sad. Um, what have we got over here? Oh, William Lancaster, notorious highwayman shot dead. Oh my goodness. So that was, highwayman is a big thing in Regency times. Um, and you'll notice, actually, some of Jane Austen's characters have been caught up in this piece of news. I think Mr Knightley um, was actually in his carriage when this happened. Um, goodness I hope he's okay so we've got some characters interspersed throughout here we've got some nice advertisements um, doo -doo -doo. so now this is a bit of a concern so reading hysteria endangers our young impressionable lady so think Northanger Abbey at this time novels were becoming a big thing and people were really worried about it corrupting um, young ladies and whether it was a bad thing so we've got to think about this here got some cool little adverts here um, and then this is really cool. So if you've ever wondered how long it would have taken Jane Austen's characters to travel around the country by carriage, we've based this in the same kind of location as Meryton, but you can see here to go to, um, let's have a look at Bath because everyone loves going to Bath. It's 15 hours. Okay. 15 hours. I mean, you would stop over at different uh, points and coaching inns to rest and to change horses, but what's even worse? Eight of you are going to have to sit outside, so I really hope it's not raining when that happens. And then over here, what have we got? We've got a um, a debutant's grand ball at St James's Palace. This is about, um, if you're a fan of Bridgerton as well, like young ladies being presented to society. And this journalist here was talking about the ball, what everyone was wearing, um, who said what, who was dancing with whom. So think about those balls that happen in Pride and Prejudice and kind of all the gossip would have come out of that and who's pairing up with who. And then down here we've got a couple of adverts. So you can rent a pineapple. Now obviously in Regency times these are really exotic, very, very expensive um, fruits. So you would rent them and you'd show off to your your guests and dinner party. Um, and you can you can rent one. And then over here, why not go to Lyme like Anne Elliot does in Persuasion? Um, I'm a bit concerned about how long it's going to take because Lyme is, is pretty far away. Um, it's probably going to take you um, a couple of days to get there. But if you pop to the Red Lion, you can get your tickets. So that's just the first couple of pages of this 12 page um, newspaper. If you want to see more videos of what's inside, then just like or subscribe and follow. And we'll share another one because we've got lots more juicy bits coming up in this newspaper. Thanks for watching.